Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are gonna take a look at two different wireless microphones from the same company. First, we have the Remo Mic Lite. LN. This is a lightning connected microphone for your iPhones and we have the Remo Mic UC. This is one for USB-C connected uh, devices like your Android phones. We're going to try them both out and here we go. Okay, so here we have both of them and we'll just take a quick look around the box. We'll see here on this one here, this is the uh, the Remo Mic Lite LN. It says streaming and uh, video mini wireless microphone for lightning interface. So this is gonna work for iPhones. And yeah, nothing much on the back here or on this side. Now on the top here, it says it features a mini wireless microphone, um, delicate and portable. And it says wireless uh, working range up to 10 meters, supports real time monitor, for both phone and mic, intuitive visual power and uh, visual monitor, adjustable volume, low cut filter, auto pairs and IR sync efficient and uh, convenient, built in rechargeable lithium battery, and it has a USB-C charging port, which is uh, really nice. Sort of, that's sort of interesting that they put a USB-C charging port on here with a lightning connector. Now I understand why they did it because USB-C is really uh, universal, but it would be kind of nice actually if they put a lightning charging connector on here. So when you are uh, using your iPhone and you have already have a lightning cable, you can just go ahead and use that same cable to charge your microphone. So. Anyways, this one here is the Remo Mic uh, UC, and the UC one is gonna be for, uh, for USB-C devices, and it says you can use this for smartphones or for computers, so yeah, I guess this one will work on your computer too. So I have a Mac which actually has USB-C cable, or USB-C ports on there. I also have a iPad Pro which uses the USB-C, so yeah, maybe this will work for those devices as well. This is gonna basically say the same uh, information as the other one there, uh, except that it's going to have the, uh, the USB-C. So, all right, let's go ahead and get these open and I'm gonna open them both up and see what's inside. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna test the, uh, I'm gonna test the uh, UC one in the house here and then we're gonna test the lightning connected one on the go. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because uh, I have an iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max and I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Note 20 Ultra actually has a pro camera built in to the, uh, a pro camera feature built into the standard camera app. And so it's easier to control here in the studio where I can make the adjustments so that it looks right. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and use this one here in the studio and test it out. And then we're gonna take this one on the go and see how this one performs. So let's get these unboxed first so that we can see what comes inside of them. So have my handy dandy uh, unboxing knife. This is the Gerber Quadrant with bamboo for those of you that are curious. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing open. Um, and we'll just cut through that plastic a bit there and see if we can get that stuff going. And there we go, get that out. And my phones are not silent, so I'm gonna go ahead and silence these first so that I don't, uh, I don't get interrupted when we're, uh, when we're filming here. So let me just go ahead and put those on silent. There we go. And now let's take a look here at this one and get that open there. And oh, that's 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 cool. It's 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 smaller than I actually expected. Um, so here is here is the receiver, and this is going to be the transmitter here. If I can get that out, so let's see. All right, yeah. So this is going to be the transmitter right here. And on this side here, we can see there's going to be a power button, and then a uh, and then a plus minus button. I believe that is going to be. For your um, for your gain or your volume, see that you can turn up how strong it is. Now on the bottom here, we can see that is going to be the the USB uh, C charging port and the IR light there. So um, yeah. Now on the top here is a microphone. So this is where the microphone is, and it's just a small grid. I imagine the microphone is mounted under there, the capsules under there, and this is just a a small grid for wind or something. 
Now on this, uh, on this one here, we have a little screen that's gonna show up on there, and we'll get a better look at that when we turn it on. And then under here is the USB-C port and for, uh, you know, for plugging it in. We also have a headphone jack for monitoring right there. And on this side, we have the power button and the IR, uh, the IR light right there. And yeah, so it looks like for this one, it looks like this does not require power. It looks like the, uh, it looks like the receiver is gonna pull power directly from your device. So it looks like you only need power for your actual uh, microphone uh, for the transmitter for the mic. So, all right. Um, let's see what else we get inside the box here with it. So it looks like there's going to be a few things that come along inside here. So let's just take it all out and uh, see what we get. So it looks like we are going to get a paperwork. So it's going to be a user manual and yeah, so the user manual and we get, we're going to get a little pouch to carry everything in, which is kind of cool. Um, we are also going to get, let's see what's in here. I believe this feels like a charging cable. So yeah, this is going to be a USB-C uh, charging cable. So that's cool. We need those. Um, we are going to get, I think this is going to be like a little furry dead cat, a little windscreen that's gonna go over top of the microphone if needed. So. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, this is a little furry dead cat that you can put on top of the mic. It has a little rubber part right there. And so this should just slip right in there. So it's um, it's sort of squared off like the top of the device and it fits right on top of there. That's kind of clever the way they did that. So I've seen some of these other ones where they have these weird magnetic mounts and stuff and they don't fit on there really uh, very, uh, very well. And this one with the rubber, I think is gonna probably fit pretty nicely. So yeah, there's that. So, all right, there we go. And uh, there is one other thing in here which I have no idea about. So we'll just have to see if we can get this uh, plastic open here. And I think I might just have to rip it open because I'm not exactly sure how to do this uh, gently. So let's just see if we can, if we, they really, they really pack that thing in there well, whatever it is, so. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is a this is a USB C to uh, a USB C to USB A um, adapter. This is really cool. This was this was really thoughtful of them. So if you're planning on using this with a computer, then you can actually go ahead and just simply plug this in right there, and boom, this part actually plugs into your computer, and now you can use this with your computer. So yeah, that was really smart. That was, that was a very, that was a very thoughtful idea of them. And uh, it makes perfect sense so that you can use that if you're, uh, if you plan on using this to live stream with your computer. So, all right, let's set these over off to the side and we'll set that right there for the moment. Oh, we also have our infamous silica gel. I can't, I can't help but mention that. So, <laughs> all right, let's open up, uh, Let's open up the lightning connected one and and get the plastic off here. And then we will uh, take a look in here. I imagine it's gonna be, I imagine it's gonna look exactly the same, except it's going to have the lightning connector. So let's just see what we get. So um, let's take out, let's take out the receiver and the transmitter here. Take that out of the package. And they are really snug in there. Man, why is that so snug? All right, there we go. We got that out. And I think we're gonna have to push that out from the bottom or something, get that. Because it's like a little lip in there or something. All right, th there we go. Got that out. Okay, so we have, the, uh, we have the, the receiver and the transmitter. They look exactly the same. The transmitter looks exactly the same. Um, same USB-C port, same IR uh, thing on there on the bottom, same power button, volume same uh, clip here. So this is what's gonna clip onto your belt or onto your shirt, excuse me, not to your belt. Um, one thing that I, I am noticing on here though, um, which I did not, I didn't take notice on here at first, is there is no, um, there is no microphone port on here. So you are, you are basically forced to use the internal microphone of this. You cannot use a, an external microphone. So you can't plug in like your own lavalier or something if you wanted to. You're gonna have to use this actual microphone. So, 
All right, here again is the uh, is the transmitter. Oops, drop that. <laughs> uh, again, same thing. Uh, you have the US, uh, the headphone jack on the bottom. You have the power button on the side with the IR there. Uh, and then we have the lightning connector there that's gonna plug into your, to your iPhone. So now here is something that you might wanna take note of, and I'm gonna check this out is, oh yeah, it looks like it's gone. Look, is it in there? I'm not sure. I think it's in there, it may not be. So now here's the thing, is that for some of these phones here, for some of these phones, I have a, I have a phone um, a case on my phone that may be a little thick and, it, and it, because the bottom part is not actually cut out there. You can see there that it has a cover on there. Sometimes these devices won't actually fit in. Now it might fit in just fine, and I'm gonna test this, but you can see uh, it seems like it's coming out really easy. So it may not actually fit in there. So what you might wanna do is take your case off and then we'll see, yeah, see that fits in really nice. Now we can see how it actually turns on and it's actually uh, activated. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually have to take your phone case out of here and use a case that doesn't have a bottom part in there like that. So I'm gonna have to find a case, and I have a number of them, but some of these have cases where the bottom part is cut out, and we're gonna to wanna to use a case like that. Now, for the, uh, for the USB-C one, I have a case that's relatively thin, so we're gonna see if this is gonna fit. And yep, we can see there, it fits flush against there, it turns right on. So you're just either gonna to have to use a case on your iPhone that is thin enough, or that has the bottom part cut out of there, so. All right, we're good. <laughs> we are getting ready to get this thing set up and go. So let's go check them out now, test them out. I'm excited about this. I already plugged it in, it just started right up. So yeah, now I'm ready to go and see how this, these things actually perform. All right, so I went ahead and I hooked up the mic and I am using it right now. And one thing that I noticed right away is that this mic seems to be super, super sensitive when plugged into, well, my Android phone, my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And when I plugged it in, it was like, I mean, it was clipping. The, the audio was peaking. It was just really a really hot signal. And so I turned the uh, the volume down on, or uh, the gain down on my microphone and it was still clipping or still peaking. It was still really, really hot. So I went into the microphone settings on my phone, dropped that down all the way down to negative 12 dB. And now it's sounding good, I think. I hope so. I haven't actually listened to it at this point. I'm just actually looking at the uh, at the meters and seeing what it sounds like and seeing what the, what the levels are looking like. So it should sound pretty good. So anyways, this is a sample of the Remo Mic UC and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it for just a moment and come back here and just film a quick clip again so you can get an idea of what this sounds like relative to just using the internal mics of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra versus using the Remo mic UC. All right, so there we go. I have unplugged it. This is the uh, this is the receiver right here. And right now, what you are hearing are just the internal mics of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So this is just a little quick comparison so that you can hear what the differences are. So again, these are the internal microphones of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. All right, so I need to go pick up some groceries and this is gonna give me the perfect time to go and actually test the lightning version of this out, uh, you know, outside. So I have my iPhone, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the lightning version. I'm gonna use this to clip onto me and we're gonna test this out on the go. So we'll just see how it is. I'm gonna walk and talk with it a little bit. I'm probably gonna mount it in my car and then we're just gonna see how it actually performs. It'll be interesting because when I'm outside and the car where there's metal and other kind of signals around, it will probably just, you know, if there's any interference that's gonna happen, it's going to show what kind of interference you might actually get. So it's gonna be a good test to see how well the transmitter and the receiver actually perform outside of a controlled situation like here it is, like we have here in the studio. So, all right, let's go try that out. Also, for those of you that are wondering where the microphone is, I actually wear my mics under my shirt. I know some people clip them onto their collars and other stuff. I like to keep my microphones hidden, so I actually just wear it under my shirt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it so I can show it to you, and you probably hear some ruffling noise right there. 
And yeah, that's it right there. So anyways, let's go ahead, grab my groceries and try out the lightning version with my iPhone. All right, everyone. So I am uh, I'm, uh, recording now with my iPhone and I'm using the front facing camera here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch to the rear facing camera in just a bit, but I just wanted to go ahead and try this with the, uh, the front facing camera and see what this looks like. Now I am recording with the Moments app and that is because the Moments app supports uh, USB microphones and Bluetooth microphones and all kinds of other microphones and I wanted to see what this sounds like. So um, one thing I've noticed right now, it looks like that the levels might be a little bit lower than I was anticipating. So I think I might go ahead and boost them up a bit, but they actually look pretty good. So I think I might just leave them there, see what they sound like. Um, but when I get to the car, I'm actually going to switch this over and record with the rear facing cameras instead of the uh, instead of the front facing camera. So let's get in the car, mount this thing up, see how it goes. All right, everyone. So I'm in the car here. I have the microphone showing like, uh, you know, I don't really like to do because I just want you all to see that I'm using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unclip it, put it underneath my shirt like I normally do and the way I normally wear it. So I'm just going to unclip it here. You're probably going to hear some ruffling noise since I'm handling it. And I'm just going to unzip my shirt. And I'm going to go ahead and clip it to my tank top underneath my regular shirt there if I can get it. So I'm going to clip it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and zip my sweatshirt back up. And this is the way I normally wear my microphone. So. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head over to the store and uh, let's go ahead and head over to the store and go pick up my groceries. So, um, yeah, let's head on out and I need, probably should turn this light off. It's a little dark in the garage here, um, but once I get going, hopefully outside, it's a little gloomy today, but hopefully you'll be able to see me better. Now, one thing that... Um, one thing that I want to test with this microphone when I have it underneath my shirt here is to see if there's any uh, handling noise. If you can feel it, if you can hear it as it rubs up against my clothing or against my, um, or against my, uh, you know, my shirt, my clothing, my skin, anything else. I just want to make sure that um, it still sounds good. Most microphones that I've tested are pretty good. But there are some that have some real issues with uh, with handling noise, so I'm just curious to see how this one uh, performs in comparison. So yeah, all right. So let's. Uh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely cloudy and a little gloomy out today. So, um, but we're gonna get over here and pick up some groceries, and uh, most of the stuff that I'm picking up today is just sort of like uh, candy and cookies and snacks type stuff, chips, because normally I order from one grocery store, but they were out of a lot of stuff because the holidays are coming up here. And so another store that I normally would, before the pandemic, would shop at and go into, they didn't have curbside pickup for a very long time. They were only doing um, delivery or you'd have to go into the store to pick it up. Well, now you can actually go and uh, do the whole curbside pickup. So I think I'm gonna go back to shopping for them uh, with them most of the time. But some of my favorite snacks that uh, I've been looking for that the other grocery store didn't have, uh, this one has. So I'm gonna go pick it up, so yeah. All right, I'm just rambling on a bit so that you can hear what this sounds like. You're gonna get an idea of all of this, what, what your voice sounds like, um, you know, what uh, the motor noise in the car is gonna sound like. Um, you know, just what other stuff, you know, I, there's other cars around me and we get to hear what all of that's going, how it's going to, uh, uh, how it's going to come through with this microphone. So, yeah. Now I do have a face mask on, which I know can muffle voices. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this down a little bit since I'm alone in the car and I don't have to worry about getting infected or infecting anybody else. So I'm just going to take that down so you can hear what my voice sounds like and what voices sound more naturally like if you're, uh, you know, if you're using this microphone just like this so yeah so anyways um i'm still heading to the store i'll be there in just a moment but um you know it, i think this is i think this is going to work out nicely 
Um, I am, again, like I said, I'm using the Moments camera app. You can use this with this microphone with a number of different apps. I haven't actually tried it with the regular stock camera app because sometimes the iPhone doesn't work with external microphones. But because this is a USB microphone, I believe it's going to work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and actually on the way home, I'm going to switch it over from the regular from the Moments app and start using the um, and start using the um, the stock camera app on the iPhone and see how that actually performs and, and if it sounds any better. So um, so we'll do that in just a second here. I'm trying to I'm trying to record and not uh, cause an accident because there's people in the in the uh, in the parking lot here that are sort of just coming out with not without really looking and people are walking without really looking and they're you know I don't want to hit anybody or have anybody hit me so let me focus for a second get pulled into the uh, parking spot here that I'm going to be at and then um, and then we will uh, and then I'll keep talking to you guys all right so I'm parked and yeah so anyways this is again this is the uh, this is the microphone with the uh, moments uh, camera app. I am going to go ahead and switch it over. Switch it over. Excuse me. On the way home to the uh, to the stock camera app, so we can hear what that's going to sound like, and uh, hopefully it sounds good as well. Now, one last thing before I switch over to the stock camera app is I forgot to give you a little sample of what it sounds like just using the basic internal microphones of the iPhone. So this is just a quick sample of what you can expect if you are using the standard stock. Uh, microphones built in to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, so I went ahead and switched over to the iPhone stock camera app. And there's one thing I want to mention that's nice about using this Rhyme Mic Lite lightning version, and that is that you can use it either forward or backwards. So it doesn't matter because you can plug it in in either direction. If you are filming yourself like I am right now and you're using uh, you know, the stock camera app, well, there is no meters in the stock camera app. You can't see where your audio levels are. But if you're using this, uh, this wireless microphone system, well, there are levels that are built onto the receiver so you can actually see it because there's a little screen there. So it's nice to be able to actually have that and, being able, and be able to face it forward or backwards. So regardless of which way your camera is facing, whether you're shooting with the front facing camera or the rear facing camera, you can always have those levels facing you so that you can actually see what your levels are coming through the microphones. Okay, everyone, so I'm back here in the studio now, and yeah, I know this has been an extraordinarily long video, much longer than I ever anticipated it being, but I wanted to give you some examples of how these mics sounded with the different devices, and originally, I was only going to do the in-studio bit with my Samsung, because that's how I normally film. That's the camera that I, or phone that I would normally shoot with in the studio if I'm going to shoot in the studio with a phone. However, I know a lot of people don't have both phones. Some people have one phone or the other, either an Android phone or an iPhone. And since many of you are probably going to ask, hey, how can you didn't shoot in the studio with the iPhone? Well, I thought I'm going to do that right now. So I'm gonna do this outro with the iPhone, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm using the microphone, so this is what you're hearing right now. I'm using the stock uh, camera app right now. So this is what you can expect, and yeah. so. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of this. I hope you enjoyed seeing the unboxing and the samples and all of it. I know, again, it was a long video, but I think these microphones could be in a really attractive proposition for some people who film with their phones a lot and they're really looking to improve their audio. I think this might be a fantastic way for people like that to actually be able to get good, clean audio into their iPhone and yeah, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Um, I'm gonna leave links to this product down below in the video description, both of these products down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave links to my, uh, to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so that you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease.
Peace.